Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little book haul. Um, these aren't the only books, but I have these two. And then also I'm going to do a book unboxing. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a total of five. So this is going to be really, really small. I don't like to buy books often. Um, you know, I try to save money <laughs> as much as I can. And if there is a book that I want to read, I prefer to, you know, just go to the library and check things out. And if I really love a book, then I would like buy it. But um, I have a Barnes & Noble um, membership card. So I try to go at least once a month and at least buy one book, you know, since I have the card. Um, so yeah, so I went to Barnes & Noble a couple days ago. I got these two books and with Pango Books, I, um, you know, I sell books on there. And so I just use that money to buy new books. So those would be like the only cases that I actually like buy books. Okay, so let me go ahead and start with the unboxing just because I'm excited to um, to open this. It came in yesterday um, and I've been waiting <laughs> and it was nighttime when, you know, I got it. So I had to wait for this morning. I always love to see how like people package their books because you know this is just like regular people selling their their books and I like to see how like good of a job or like what care they do. Um, so I really like that this person added bubble bubble wrap and in between each book that's awesome. Um, sorry, it's going to be really loud because the you know window there's like a crack in it so there's always noise coming in. Um, So, the, um, I didn't need for this to happen, but there's like a lot of pink going on. Um, okay, so let's see. I have 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard. This is a book of the month book um, back in 2021. Um, so yeah, I wasn't subscribed yet when this came out. This man and this woman meet and then um, the man suggests that the girl kind of like live with him and stay with him since this is when like COVID happened and then you know the whole lockdown situation so he invites her in you know to stay and she takes up the offer and I guess he does that so he doesn't have to tell people yet like you know that they met or whatever having to explain it to their family like how they met I'm not really sure but you know they kind of or how he makes it seem is that he just kind of like wants to you know like let's just spend time together first without letting everybody else know type of thing um he also has some secrets and um, it seems like he's trying to hide, you know, who he actually is and his past. Somebody ends up dead in this like house or apartment, um, but you don't know who. And then, you know, the cops come and they're trying to figure out what if it was an accident or not. And, you know, just like why this happened. So, I mean, I'm pretty interested. I know a lot of people like when I watch other people's book, uh, you know, videos, they tend to not like books that have to do with like the pandemic or like, you know, like COVID or whatever. Um, a lot of people are kind of like, oh, it's too fresh or it's too, or overplayed or whatever. But um, this would be my first time reading a book that has to do with like the pandemic or a pandemic at all, I guess. Um, but also I don't see it that way. Like I, I know a lot of people are sensitive, you know, with the whole thing. Um, I personally am not. So yeah, I'm interested in reading this. And I also think it's like an interesting spin. I like the idea that the author kind of, you know, is like using the pandemic in like a scary way and it's kind of like okay let's force these two people in close proximities and they're kind of like forced to stay together and then you know something scary happens like that's like the perfect you know like uh murder thing i guess like murder um scenario so yeah i'm excited to read this one um the next one i got i didn't realize how small it is and i actually really like it um and that's cool there's like windows at the back too I think that's the same window as like in the front of the house. But anyways, this is Just Like Home by Sarah Gailey. Um, this one is actually a pretty interesting premise. Um, at least I've never heard anything like it. I also really, really love the cover. Not just because it's pink, but just like the pink and red. They go really, really well together. So this is about a woman. I don't know like how old she is. I don't know if she's, you know, if she's an adult or what. Look at the inside too. It's really, really pretty. But um, yeah, I don't know if she's an adult, but I guess like her mom gets in contact with her and tells her like to come back um home to um you know the house she grew up in and i i guess her her father passed away i think he's not around um or maybe he's in prison i'm not sure because he was a murderer and 
I assume that she knew that, like, when she was younger, like, she had an idea, like, he's, you know, like, killing people or something. So, like, her dad was a murderer, like I said. And then I guess they have a guest house and somebody's staying there. And at the same time, the main character is finding, like, these notes that are written in her dad's, um, in her dad's handwriting. And this man is saying, like, you know, that's not me. I'm not leaving these notes. So there's this whole mystery of it. And, um, yeah, I'm, like, curious. Like I, like I said, I think that's a really cool, like, premise. Like, okay, you're... You know you're the daughter of a murderer you know and kind of like following her story um and there's a mystery to it like with these notes and i don't know yet um you know if the dad is like like i said if he's gone and he's alive but he's just like in jail or something but i don't know if it's like a paranormal thing i'm kind of hoping it's not but like you know if it's done well we'll see but yeah this is just like home um the next book is The Push, which I've also been really excited to read this one for a long, long time by Ashley Audrain. And yeah, I've been excited to read this one for a while. Um, this is about a mom who she, I guess, looked always looked forward to having a baby and, you know, kind of like interested in how she would be as a mom. You know, she thinks it's going to be like all like flowers and butterflies type of thing. But then when she has her daughter, she feels like something is wrong with her and she doesn't feel like that emotional connection and so she thinks that there's something wrong with her daughter but like maybe she's like evil or something and the husband um doesn't see it and then the mom ends up having another child which is a son and she's just great you know like that feeling that she thought she would have she's actually feeling that with her son and i guess they have a great relationship and even the daughter seems to love the son and like everything's fine so yeah you're just kind of like you don't know if it's just all in her head or if there is actually something wrong with her daughter and if she's like an evil child. Um, so right here it just says, The Push is an utterly immersive novel that will challenge everything you think you know about motherhood, what we owe our children, and what it feels like when women are not believed. And just that last part, uh, when women are not believed, it kind of seems the author would probably discuss a little bit about, you know, not like a feminism topic, but kind of like how, just like that, like how women are believed because they're women type of thing so yeah i can't wait to read this one i also forgot to mention that um so 56 days is a thriller um like i said this one i don't know if it's a horror but i know you know kind of like a mystery thriller as well and then this one's a psychological thriller okay now on to the books that i got from barnes and noble this first one is locust lane by stephen amidon um Amidon? i don't know but uh this is a mystery it's about this um girl this young girl a teenager i assume um, or maybe a young woman, I'm not entirely sure, but she was found dead um, in a nice part of town, like a very, very nice suburban area. And the night that she died, she was hanging around these other teenagers as well. And so they are all suspects and those parents of those teenagers are trying to protect them at all costs um, and because they have their own motivations. At the bottom it says, with a brilliantly woven, intricately crafted plot that gathers momentum on every page, this is a superb storytelling told in a terse prose a dynamic read that is both intensely gripping and deeply affecting so yeah this is just a mystery i'm not like too excited about mysteries like this that just kind of seem like okay somebody died who did it those are just kind of like boring to me but i'm hoping that it is different especially with the parents being involved i hope that there's a little bit more to it also i'm obsessed with this cover this is the first thing that i noticed so i was like okay I want to give it a shot, but I absolutely love this cover. This next novel is Touch by Olaf Olafsson. Um, Noah pointed out <laughs> that the names are like so, like the first and last name are so similar. And I didn't like realize that, but yeah, it is pretty funny. So this is the only book that's not like a thriller or anything like that. Um, it's a little bit of a mystery, but it's more of a like old love story kind of thing this also has to do around the time of the pandemic i don't know if it's a pandemic or covid19 i'm not sure but um yeah this man he owns a store and because of the whole pandemic happening he has to close it and shut it down and then he gets i think a message or a letter from somebody that he used to be in love with back in the day when he was younger i believe in college and then um, but she just disappeared like back then at that time and then after receiving that letter he wants to kind of like find out like what happened you know so he's on like a hunt to um find her and kind of get some answers i assume at the bottom it says a heart-wrenching love story and an absorbing mystery touch delves into the secrets of the past to explore the hidden lives we all possess the pain and beauty of our past loves and friendships that continue to leave their mark on us. Searching and lyrically rendered by acclaimed author Olaf Olafsson, 
Touch is a stunning tribute to the weight of history and the complexities of the human heart. The blurb says, a mesmerizing panoramic story of one man's search to find a lover who suddenly disappeared decades before. So this was in the mystery section. I don't know if that was on accident or not, but it doesn't seem kind of like the like scary type mystery. It seems more of like um, really like a relaxed type, if that makes sense. But um, yeah. You know, it's more of a love story, if anything. Yeah, and I assume this is going to be very, very heart-wrenching. So, you know, I look forward to that and I hope that it'll make me cry and I hope that it's very, very sad. Yeah, and it just seems like a sweet, you know, a sweet story. So I'm interested in this. Also, the cover is also what grabbed my attention. Okay, so these are all the books that I got. Um, I know five books is probably not a lot, um, but you know, it's a very heavy stack. So I would count it as a good <laughs> number, but um, yeah. I know these two books are very popular, so you've probably heard about these before. Um, and I'm hoping that with these two, you haven't. The ones I got from Barnes Noble, because um, I've never heard of them, but you know, hopefully they're good. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.